Hello, amazing artists. I can create a 3D room. Time for our mantra. I am an artist. I am creative. I make mistakes, but mistakes are great because they help us learn. You will need a white piece of paper and fold it in half. Fold it hamburger style so that it looks like a card. Have the open part at the top and then you're going to lay a ruler or a straight edge across the bottom where the fold is because we want to create a cut. And if you don't have a ruler, use an envelope. Use something that is a straight edge. Next, Anywhere, it could be in the middle, it could be over a little bit more to the side, draw two vertical lines, not too wide because this is actually going to be a chair that pops out in your room. You're going to cut and make sure that you cut exactly the same length on both sides. When you're done cutting, fold it. You're going to fold it up on the one side, then flip it, fold it again on the other side. So on the pop-out, I'm starting with the legs of the chair, and you just follow right along on the fold lines. So the bottom, below the fold, are the legs. Above the fold is the chair, well, or is the seat of the chair. And then above, where it's just basically your paper, where nothing has been cut, is the back of the chair. And you can design the chair any way that you want to, but of course, keep it the same size as your cut. I'm also using some diagonal lines to make it look as if it goes back into space because that's a trick to the eye when you have lines that lead away. It's like the using that one point perspective. Now I'm going to add the baseboard or that's that little wooden board that goes around the bottom of the floor and the wall. And I'm gonna draw my floor. So I'm again using diagonal lines because that makes it looks like, look like you are going into the room or the room is um, going back into space. And when I get to the other side, I am tilting my straight edge or ruler the other direction. So on one side, angling that direction. On the other side, angling away. And look at how the lines are smaller um, farther back and then wider coming towards me. Now I could have done a checker floor. I could do checkers. I could have done a different kind of floor and that's okay. You can really experiment with the kind of floor, but I definitely wanted the lines. Now I'm thinking about what goes on the wall. So I'm going to do a picture with a frame and I'm also going to be creating a window. But what if you added a poster? What if you added, um, what else would be on your wall? Other pictures, um, wallpaper, posters. I'm going to add a window with a curtain that goes all the way down to the ground. And I'm just erasing as I go the lines that I don't want to keep. And I am going to keep thinking about details, the special things that I could put into my room.
I added some socks, I added a rug, I added a cat, and I'm thinking, what if I pop out and add a little table? Now, this is absolutely an extra that you could try, but you absolutely do not have to do this. I just thought maybe I'd like a little table next to my chair. So I'm going to go for it and do a extra cutout, but this is um, above what I'm asking you to try. If you want to go for it, go for it. If not, that is okay. I really love the finished look. I love the details I added and I even tried it a second time to see what it would look like if I did it again with a little different look. Have a great time making your room.